Let's go. Hello, everybody. Um, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Malachi Wright. I am an incoming D1 at the University of Maryland School of Dentistry. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing how I got a 21 academic average on my DAT and a perfect score, a score of a 30 in the organic chemistry section of the DAT. And yes, I said organic chemistry section. Um, it's notoriously one of the di most difficult sections of the DAT. Um, and in this video, I'm gonna be discussing my study schedule, exactly how I managed to get that score, and all the tips and tricks that I went into in order to optimize my chances of getting the score that I wanted on the DAT. Right. So, for many of you all who do not know, the DAT is the Dental Admissions Test. And it is a test that every single dentist out here has, has taken, and you as a pre-dental student will be taking to gain entry into dental school. The DAT is an exam that lasts around four hours and 30 minutes with a 30 minute break in between. And it's composed of multiple sections. There's a biology section, a general chemistry section, or organic chemistry section, a perceptual ability session, which is, which is PAT. And there is a reading comprehension section. And last but not least, there's a math section um, that's called uh, quantitative reasoning, I believe. And in all of these sections, you have a certain amount of time to answer a whole bunch of questions. And to be honest with you, it's a very daunting exam. You know, a lot of people get scared like I did when we were considering taking the DAT. And, you know, I think of it as uh, a mountain that you're climbing, um, like the Intimidator 305 for those who've been to Kings of Million. Um, it's an exam that is extremely intimidating, but it is beatable. And I say the hardest part is starting and getting started. Once you get started and you stay consistent, um, you'll be fine. And once you get into the middle of your schedule, study routine, you'll be good to go. All right, so again, like I said before, in this video, I'm gonna be discussing how I got a 30 in the organic chemistry section and my timeline towards when I apply and exactly how I study for the DAT. So to give you all some context, I was going into my senior year of college and I was extremely busy, so I said, you know what? What am I gonna do? When am I gonna take this DAT? I kinda got a little over my head, and I was thinking, okay, well, I'm a 4.0 student. You know, I seen some people on DAT boot camp who studied for five weeks or four weeks, so I'm gonna try to do that. So I took the winter break of uh, my junior year to study for the DAT, and during that time, I studied for about three weeks, and then after those three weeks, I went in and I took a practice exam. And the practice exam, I got my scores back and this is what it looked like. Yeah, my score was a academic average of a 15 and I got 13s in multiple sections. So even if you're a 4.0 student, even if you have stellar grades, please make sure that you take this exam seriously and you don't have to waste time like me when you're getting ready to study for this exam. Um, following that, I knew that I was not going to be able to take my exam during the winter time. So I did what a lot of pre pre dental students did, and I pushed it into the summertime. And during that summertime, I was actually getting ready to apply for the upcoming cycle that summer as well. So I was really on a time crunch. Um, a lot of my academic advisors advised me not to do that because um, I took my exam later in July. And it was a lot studying for the exam, paying for all of my applications, getting my letters of recommendation, my committee letter, and studying for the DAT all at once. Now, with that being said, it is possible to accomplish all of those things, but it can be a little difficult. So you have to make sure that you're ready for the challenge. So if you see me looking down, you're gonna be seeing me reading some of the things that I have on my iPad right here. And one of the things I wanted to mention was my timeline. So I started studying for the DAT during um, early June, so around June 5th. Originally, I was studying for my DAT during the semester, but uh, for many of y'all who know or may not know, I had some surgical complications that caused me to have to learn how to do a lot of mobility and movement again. Um, and that just took me out of studying for the DAT because I was solely focused on school and physical therapy, gaining my health back. So nevertheless, um, I started studying in, in June after the semester ended. And I studied from June 5th to up to my test date, which was July 29th. And that was approximately seven weeks. 
So yeah, so I only studied for seven weeks for the DAT. Um, and again, I told you all that my first practice test that I took during that winter, my academic average was a 15. And my score in organic chemistry was a surprising 16. So yes, I went from a 16 to a 30 in the organic chemistry section on the, of the DAT. Um, my schedule looked uh, a little crazy, but it's definitely doable and it was obtainable. It was a very uh, hard time, but um, something that I enjoyed because, you know, if you do it right, you only get to take the DAT one time. So you have to make sure you enjoy the process. Um, like many students, I also had to work while I was studying for my general admissions test. Um, there are things that are pretty expensive, like paying for your applications, paying for the actual DAT, paying for any study material you need. And, you know, a lot of people cannot afford to have or are not privileged enough to have parents who could pay for it or um, certain scholarships and stuff. So, you know, that's something that I had to work towards paying for myself. And it's another reason why um, my brother and I, we started the scholarship, Right Brothers Endowment Scholarship, which I'll show you guys right here. Um, it's a scholarship to help people who are striving to give back to their community. So uh, go check our scholarship out. Uh, nevertheless, during that time, I will wake up at around 5.45 in the morning uh, to get ready to go to work. I worked security uh, for a security company where I lived in Maryland. And um, it was a pretty sweet gig because the owner of the security company, he knew I was studying for the DAT. So he told me that as long as I was doing my job, um, securing the area that I was securing, that he would be fine with me looking at my books, sitting in my car for a little bit to study um, and going over some flashcards. So that's what I did. Um, I would get to work at around 6.30. I would work from 6.30 to 3.30. So this provided me with a lot of time where I could study. And um, the number one thing that I used to study while studying was DAT Bootcamp. I would honestly say for any pre-dental student, it's worth the investment. And also, if you choose to use another resource to study, definitely stick to their schedule, uh, modify it if you need to, and stick to one program. I tried to use DET Booster and DET Bootcamp for certain things, and I found that it was stressing me out more than just sticking with one program. And I stuck with DET Bootcamp, and it seemed to work out for me pretty well, especially considering the scores I got prior to using their program. So I started my day off with reading comprehension and with the reading comprehension on DAT, reading comp was definitely one of the more difficult sections for me um, because I really don't like reading that much and I'm, I read extremely slow. So since I read extremely slow and I really didn't like reading, it was one of the sections where I was most nervous about and I found myself able to overcome that section on the actual DAT by just doing practice problems, the practice quiz questions that they had on DAT Bootcamp, reading at least one of their passages every single day and timing myself when I was reading it while also reading for leisure. So I read a book, I have a book on my table, Atomic Habits. I read that book, I read a couple of other books um, to make sure that I was picking up and keeping up with my reading speed. Then um, once I figured out how to, to do the reading comp, I then moved on to do Gen Chem. Now, Gen Chem was a section that I knew that I was going to struggle with because I did not like doing calculations and I struggled to get A's in both Gen Chem 1 and 2 during undergrad. So I knew that this was a section that had content that I hadn't seen for a long time and something that I was going to have to, going to, have to relearn. So um, I moved on to Gen Chem and I worked on Gen Chem for about two to three hours a day. And I did practice problems on uh, boot camp. I also watched their videos by Dr. Mike, which were extremely helpful. And last but not least, I made Anki cards for the different conversions, concepts, and things that I had to memorize for this section, which really helped out at the end of the day. Um, but again, you can see that during that section on the DAT, I didn't score as well as I wanted to. And I'm not the type of person to blame it on anything, but my screen did go black in the middle of the JKIM section and I kind of freaked out a little bit because my time was still running. Um, so I believe that contributed to my score, but nevertheless, we're not gonna make no excuses over here. All right, folks. So after the Jen Kim section, I then moved on to do biology. Now the biology section is extremely dense and I took a lot of time for this section. So I took about two hours a day. And what I would do was I would read the Bio Academy book. 
from from um, DAT Bootcamp. And a Bioacademy book has a lot of YouTube videos embedded in the readings. So I would read a section and then I'll watch the video and then I would do some questions. And that really helped me out because I like learning by um, reading and watching. So while I was watching the YouTube videos, the YouTube videos are something that I was used to watching. Um, so I watched the YouTube videos and they helped me out a lot. And then if I struggled with any topics, I would go back and I will watch the bootcamp video that they had to offer as well. And this section seemed to help me out pretty well on the DAT. I saw a lot of the content that I saw on DAT bootcamp where it was pretty much somewhat of the same content that I saw on the actual exam. But I found that for the biology section, the exam was a little easier. All right, so moving on to the section that everyone really wants me to talk about, which is organic chemistry. Now, it's so funny because I got an A in Orgo 1 and Orgo 2. But again, when I took that first practice exam, I got a 16 in the organic chemistry section. So organic chemistry was a, a subject that I really liked. Um, going into studying for it, it was definitely daunting because there's just so much content. But I found that if you print out the booklet that DAT Bootcamp has for the organic chemistry section with all the reactions and all of the chapters, summaries, and everything in there, and if you just read through that and you go over everything, and you take like a blank sheet of paper and you cover up certain things and you quiz yourself. Um, that's solely the way that I studied. I did the practice questions on DAT Bootcamp's website. Any challenging stuff, I watched the videos. I read through the notes. I used a white sheet of paper to help memorize certain things from the notes. And I also did, um, I used a whiteboard and I drew out a lot of the reactions so that I knew what exactly was going on. Make sure that you familiarize yourself with the acid and base chemistry um, in organic chemistry because that's really going to help you with that section. And then last but not least is the math section. So with the math section, um, I kind of didn't study that hard for this section. I waited until the last three weeks of my study session to study for this um, because I knew that this was a section that wasn't really heavily weighed on by a lot of schools. So um, literally two days before I took the practice, my actual exam, I got like a 15 on the practice test that I took for um, the math section. And I was like, you know, at this point, it is what it is. But I found that on the actual exam, it was much easier than actually on DAT bootcamp. So what I would do for the math section, I would just go to all of the practice tests and I would learn how to do all the questions on all of the practice tests. And if you know how to do all the questions and you watch the videos for those questions on the practice test, then you should be golden for the actual DAT. And again, to kind of sum up everything for the organic chemistry section, make sure that you thoroughly go through that packet. You know all of your reactions. You do all the practice questions on, on DAT Bootcamp more than one time. You wanna expose yourself to the content in each chapter at least three times before you take that exam. And if you do that, you do the practice problems, you do practice tests, and you um, memorize all of the reactions, your acid base, your stereochemistry, all that good stuff, I promise you, you can get a 30 in the organic chemistry section of the DAT as well. I hope you all found this video extremely helpful. Um, please be sure to comment if you have any questions for me. Please subscribe to the channel, like this video, watch my other videos on my channel, and share this video with a friend. You know, it's always great to help out pre dental students. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Please stay tuned for more videos coming every Sunday and every Wednesday, and peace out.